Well, hello everybody. Uh, sorry for the delay. I know I haven't had a video out in, in a little while. Things have been uh, really busy with my day job, uh, so I'm, I'm glad to get back at it. Uh, weather hasn't been real cooperative either. I uh, was to do a fishing video. Uh, the creeks are running pretty high right now, so I'm going to do a tying video this evening, and I'm uh, going to be tying uh, another pattern, uh, an important pattern uh, that I have in my box. Uh, this is one you can use all year round, um, but I do particularly like it um, as the hatch season begins, uh, just because it, it's a soft hackle uh, with the CDC. Uh, I like the fish, this is a nymph, but uh, when, when fish really start moving for flies, uh, I like to swing these at the end of the drift and we'll, we'll often uh, pick some fish up that way. So. Um, Pretty simple pattern. Um, I'll go through it with you here today. Won't take a lot of time to tie. Uh, just some basic materials, uh, but a, but a good all-around fly. So we'll uh, we'll get this one out of the vise, and uh, we will uh, put a new hook in. Today we're going to use a, a size 16 jig hook, uh, and I have that paired with a 2.8 uh, millimeter bead. Again, like. Uh, like all of my flies, you can uh, size these up uh, with beads if you want to put a heavier bead, a lighter bead. Uh, but today we're going to just go with the standard uh, 16 with a 2.8 millimeter tungsten bead. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to get a little bit of thread uh, behind uh, the bead. And I'm going to work that back uh, to the bend of the hook. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in some uh, small size copper wire. All right, and uh, just going to lay that right on top here. And this is a little bit of a messy fly, so I'm not going to be super concerned about how neat it is like I would with a Pertagon. Uh, I'm just going to get it on there. And then I'm going to come back. Now there's a variety of things you could do here with this fly. You can use a thread body if you want to use a thread body uh, and wrap the wire up. I like to use uh, a dubbing body and, and do a couple different colors. Uh, this is uh, something I have here, a life cycle uh, nymph dubbing. Comes in a bunch of different colors here. Today I'm gonna to be using the one on the end here, the medium olive. Uh, this is made by Hairline. So I'm just gonna take a, a, a pinch of, of that Okay, and I'm uh, just going to start to do a, uh, a dubbing noodle here. Uh, and uh, just get that on the, on the thread. Just dirty up the thread with, with some of this olive. I'm push that right up. And this is just almost like you would be doing a waltz worm. In this case, it would be almost the same process as doing a sexy waltz worm where you're tying the tinsel or the wire in. And uh, I'm gonna get enough on there to get back up to the bead. So I got maybe about a two inch dubbing noodle there. I'm gonna push that right up to the top. All right. Now, I'm not super concerned here um, with a taper um, or lack of a taper. Uh, I just kinda wanna get some Coats of this thread uh, down the shank of the hook. Okay, and then I'm going to put this out on my cradle, and then I'm going to counter wrap my wire. All right. So if you stop right there, you've got yourself a great fly, which is just an olive. Uh, sexy waltz. Uh, if you just tie this off and I'm gonna fish it like that, you've got you've got a great effective pattern. But um, I'm gonna do something a little bit more. I'm gonna add a dubbing loop, and the way you do that is uh, you take your two fingers like this and you put it around a thread, cross it over. I come behind the bead and down, and then around. And then I'll do a wrap, and then I hang my bobbin on the cradle. Then I like to take uh, 
my Stonfro uh, dubbing loop tool. And I hang that just to create some space. My next material I'm going to tie in uh, some Trout Hunter uh, Premium CDC in Olive. So I'm going to pick a nice piece of, of CDC. And you can, you can, if you have a materials clip, like a CDC clip here, um, you can use that. Um, I, I don't, I don't have one of those. Um, I, I, I just, for whatever reason, I haven't purchased one. So I, I just like to take uh, a CDC and I find I can do this without one. Um, and again, th th this loop that is created, um, I just, I take the CDC feather and I just pinch it in there just like that. And then very carefully with my scissors, I will come in and just cut that away. And then what I'm left with are just these CDC fibers. And now I'm gonna take this tool and add it to the looping tool and I'm gonna spin. So when I spin this, Gonna get all those CDC barbs twisted in the thread. And now I'm ready to wrap it around. But I am, before I do that, I am going to brush it all back so that it goes in one direction. All right, and then I'm just gonna take my time and I'm gonna loop it around. And as I loop, I'm gonna brush the, the barbs back. Again, I, I keep these fairly sparse. I don't I don't like them to be super heavy. All right, and then when I'm done, I just hang that there. Take my bobbin off the cradle, tighten it up. And I'm just gonna tie that in. So I'm gonna come down and under it once, twice, and then one time in front, and then I can cut my loop out. Now again, you could tie this off and be done. I like to do one more step with this. I like to take a little bit of uh, ice dub in black and just add a little bit of a black collar. Uh, you can also tie this, I like to tie this with a black bead. Uh, I think that looks uh, pretty good. I think it sometimes looks like an emerging uh, caddis on the swing, um, but I find this just general pattern with, uh, with the olive and then just a touch of black around the collar uh, works pretty well for me. All right, so I'm gonna tighten that up. I'm just gonna get a real thin collar, and now I'm ready to whip finish. All right, when I whip finish, I'm just gonna take it up. One, two, three, four, five. Tighten that up. that off now the last thing this this is pretty long um, I do like to take the CDC and just pinch it and then even it out so that it goes back to about the little past the bend of the hook so there it is uh, the olive uh, soft hackle uh, again it's got uh, go through all the materials for you once again so it starts with uh, just a, an olive green uh, 70 UTC. Uh, I use uh, life cycle, uh, life cycle uh, dubbing, and I use the medium olive. And I use a again premium CDC from Trout Hunter. Great stuff. And then that collar is ice dub in black. So you can really vary these materials. Um, in any way you like vary the colors up but this is the basic pattern it's a really versatile fly uh, fish is great as a dead drift uh, as a nymph um, but i like that soft tackle on there uh, as you get to the end of your drift and let it swing uh, so again in the winter i'm mainly going to be dead drifting it but um, as we start to move out of winter uh, and we get into spring and you see some more 
uh, bug activity. This is this is when I'll, I'll use this fly a lot to uh, let it swing and, and catch a lot of fish that way. So hope you liked uh, this video. I uh, hope you've checked out troutstrike.com. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, uh, we just reached 500 subscribers, so that was exciting. Uh, so if you uh, like the videos and you like what we're doing here, then uh, make sure uh, you subscribe as well. So uh, thank you and uh, have a great night and we'll uh, see you out on the water.